Oh, g'day back again. Um, got a little, okay, uh, probably a 30 mil. Uh, I got this in, found this in a box somewhere, did, with no key in it, which is not a problem because it's not, I've got no interest in the bloody thing actually. But uh, someone had shown an interest in it, so, and which um, that person, I've got a package going, probably tomorrow. So you get it by the end of the week. I'll uh, chuck this in as well. I don't, just bloody paperweight. I'll, um, yeah, I didn't have a key with it, so I've got an impression of the key. So it's a YA8 uh, profile. Um, you can use a YA7, uh, I believe, but that's a five pinner. Same profile, I just got to cut the, um, the key back. Well, actually, I think this actually goes right in, I believe. Oh, hang on. Yeah, I think it might go right into the shoulder. It's, um, it's a YA7. Um, yeah, no, no, it doesn't get, yeah, just touches the shoulder, so it's a tad too long. So if you can just take a, the arse end of the key off, um, and you could use that blank as an emergency if you want. It's a, yeah, but that's the key, that's the profile. Okay. Okay, well, I'm um, just going to take off the take off a bit of skin off the uh, blade, all well, that bumpy bit. It looks like the crater of the moon. You need a nice sort of um, reasonably matte finish, and then we can get our impression. I'm going to do it by hand, by the way. I'm not going to use any tools. Um, see how we go. It's going to take longer than normal to do this. I'm actually going to show you things as we go, so that, that's going to take up time. Ordinarily, I wouldn't be doing that, but um, yeah. Um, yeah, it's hard to get impression masks up. What I'm doing, um, I'll show you. Without a tool to hold that steady, my hands are sort of slipping. And I'm not getting full t uh, upward and downward, t you know, like force, or and the correct torque on the uh, on the plug. So it's a bit a bit slow, but I can see it over the camera. I can't shoot. I can just see the marks in the camera, but I can see them better over the camera actually. Um, so I want to go. Yeah, I'll um, I'll do what, what yeah whatever I can see over the camera, and I'll just go with that. And uh, it's a four pinner, so once we get the first cut, we pretty much uh, we can just space them out equally, and we sort of guaranteed our spacing. Uh, so I'm going to go with that because that was the number one was the uh, the mark. Um, It's not the best either. I've got a fluoro light, that's a shocking light for this. Um, needed like a mute, I don't know, a mute type of lighting, to, which is the best way to sort of cast a shadow, to read a shadow. Anyway, that's the space as we got. And trust me, that looks worse, looks looks deep. You're probably saying, oh crikey, he's gone a bit deep. That very, very shallow. It just looks worse because of the clamor of the camera uh, positioning. But, um, Anyway, I want to give it a crack, see if we can get a mark. Should be using pliers actually. Not very bloody friendly on your hands, that's for sure. Anyway. Again, I'm looking over the camera for marks. Um, which is really easy for me to see. Okay, number two's got a mark there. And you can see it or not, but. And number three as well. See the shadow, like the little dot. So that spacing is forward a bit too too much. I'm gonna concentrate on 
number three, but I'll bring that spacing back a bit. See a mark on number one there. Uh, if you can see it, I've got to get this just to the right angle. Um, yeah, I can see it. I'm, yeah, I'm looking over. There's bloody. Oh, I thought it was an ant. I thought the ants are coming back, but. Um, Oh yeah, by the way, I'm gonna start so I'm probably I don't know if you're gonna you can watch or you can't watch, doesn't matter. What the fuck? Get off me, you bastard. I've got a, quite a few bloody videos on buddy in file on file. I'm gonna just download them and bombard bombard the buddy channel, I think. Until they're over and done with and I can start fresh. So don't be surprised if you see one or two every day every day, but I mean I've got channel docs I haven't uploaded yet and uh, some show and tells and some out and abouts and but so uh, yeah that's what I'm gonna do so don't mind you know if you whinge about it just don't watch it's not a problem um, I, I I encourage everyone to bloody do what they want with their channel if you want to you know if you want to put 15 bloody upload 15 videos a day phew, good on you um, I'll be watching if I'm on the video on this on the computer so Got the time, so not a problem. Uh, okay, number four. Again, it's I can see it over looking over the camera with my eyes, but there is a mark there, so I'm going to go for. Yeah, it's going to be a buddy. I've got a short video. Okay, number two is hidden. Number two, is that a little mark there? And again, uh, only file when you see a mark. If you don't see a mark, don't don't file anymore. Go somewhere else. Go to the next spacing. Otherwise, you'll overcut and cut it deep too deep, and then you'll get another impression mark. Then you all you're doing is wasting your time and wasting the blank. So. Number three is hidden a bit. See that mark there? Three spacing there. Fucking dogs, annoying. Yeah, number four there. You see a shadow. Yeah. Give it a crack. Let's see number. Th I'll go back to number three. Let's come. It's a little bit out of whack. Spacing. But so on we will we can work with that as we go. I'll end up alright. Yep. Number two. Just a slight little mark there. I'm just, uh, I'm not cutting deep by the way, I'm just um, 
getting the waves off the cuts. Yep, number one's got a mark, so. And it's a fairly. Uh, okay. Ten minutes, bloody hell. three and four see the marks there and one on two as well not so much two but three and four yeah I've got to keep an eye on the spacings too Pretty deep too, so okay. So one, two, three. Bloody hell! I'm not gonna do it by hand anymore. I'm getting tired for this shit. My hands are bloody it's getting too soft. Again, number one, definitely. Um, I'm looking over the camera again. Um, Two's got a needs a bit of work. I should surely move forward. I can just see the impression mark there. So we'll yeah, take it forward a bit. And again, I'm not cutting down on the cuts. I'm just uh, making the uh, making the biddings pretty. That's all the valleys and whatever. So. see that see that <laughs> just got to get the right light to see the little impression mark Sorry, really looking over the camera and looking again. Yeah, number one a bit. Number two actually, this is a tad. Um, Come on, 
close. Got a bit of movement on the core there, so yeah. Gonna go number one. Oh, sorry, I'm a bit down. <laughs> Even out the camera. Uh, yep, number one. I believe Sorry, I'm over. Spacing's not spot on either, I can tell that, but uh, that's not a problem. I can just adjust it on the machine to cut it back. Um, yeah, what I'll do, um, something else with someone this is just scraping in there. Um, I think it's number three. Again, I'm not cutting deep. I'm just, um, I'm just shaping the cuts now, make it look um, I don't know, a bit more cosmetically appropriate, if you will. So, anyway, yeah, there's number 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 three was just a a bee's whisker. Anyway, that's um, sorry, a long video, but that's. It only takes one third of that to do it, but I'm just, I'm, I'm just showing you um, what to look for. Uh, although it's better looking through your eyes with some a magnifying glass with a, a good a mute light. And another been little uh, trick too uh, is uh, get some oh, what's it called toolmakers dye or toolmaker blue, which they toolmakers use machinist. Um, and what you can do, you can dip your key in it, uh, up to the shoulder of course, um, it dries pretty quick and, it's, and it stains as well, it doesn't, uh, you know, like smudge off like bloody marking pen, That's, they're terrible, I, would, I never use them, they're a waste of time, so yeah, dye, you want uh, toolmakers dye, or toolmakers blue, stain, and uh, yeah, anyway, that'll do, um, yeah, I'll send that off tomorrow, mate. So, you, you know, yeah. Anyway, that's 20 minutes. That'll do. Let's see. Uh, been over record. The longest impression of the video of a four pin padlock in history. So, <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, I might uh, do some other stuff later. I'll, yeah, again, down the track. Do some 245, 234 impressioning. And, uh, um, you know, impressioning, yeah, is actually, as you. It's not taking something apart, making a key for it. That's not impressioning. 
<coughs> that's just making a key. Um, yeah, we'll get some different cylinders, uh, rim cylinders and padlocks or whatever. And uh, yeah, down the track. Anyway, that'll do for now. Until next time, take care and uh, yeah, goodbye.